Welcome to What's What Jamaica News TV where we bring you the latest. Here's what we have in the news. Man get 10 years in jail for human trafficking. Stay tuned. Here are the details. An Indian businessman who persuaded an Indian man to travel all the way to Jamaica and then forced him to work as a domestic worker in his home for three whole years without paying him a dime was sentenced to 10 years in jail for human trafficking on Friday. Let this be a warning to anyone trying to traffic people into or out of Jamaica that once they are caught, they will have to serve time. Roshan Shiguri was also given a five-year sentence for hiding his travel documents, but the sentences will be served consecutively. Now, his wife, Darnet, was sentenced to three years in prison or one million fine after being found guilty of hiding the human trafficking. But, it should not be one million it should be a million for each year of her sentencing in addition to imposing the penalties justice judy pusey mandated that the victim get compensation in the sum of eighteen thousand three hundred and thirty seven us dollars this include paying the domestics wages money for the victim's pain and suffering as well as his labor and his work at their jewelry store. After a trial in the home circuit court, the peer was found guilty of human trafficking charges last month. Following the sentence, the wife sobbed bitterly and pleaded with the judge to let her husband return home. She murmured through her sobs, the kids are going to ask where he is. The spouse, on the other hand, who had been seen having fun with his family prior to the punishment, now appears shocked and upset. He was kidding because he most likely believed he would be told to pay a fine and leave just a slap on the wrist. But he did not impress the judge with his status with his financial status because if he have a jewelry store more likely than not he's handling some good money but judge pusey was not impressed with that she didn't care pusey stated that the husband's behavior was purposeful and required punishment before imposing the penalty she believed that a fine would not be sufficient match the crime or act as a sufficient deterrence to prevent such offenses in the future the court stated that she also discovered the husband to be quite cunning and that he had successfully misled his wife into thinking that what was taking place in their home was acceptable and this I tend not to agree with the judge because even a fool might have seen that forcing the man to wake up at 6 in the morning and work two jobs until midnight without compensation is, is a cruel and unusual punishment especially because he's a foreigner and cannot simply board a bus to return home. No matter how desperate he wanted to return home. It, he couldn't have done so. Because he wasn't being paid. So he was not able to pay his fare back to India. How cruel can that be? Then you tell me that. She did, the wife did not see that something was wrong with that. To bring somebody in your home from so far and don't pay them a dime and he had to wake up from six in the morning fix breakfast 
and when the jewelry store closed at eight o'clock he has to come home and fix dinner the victim when the victim could not take it anymore he attempted suicide in 2017 while he was residing with the couple because he was cut off from his friends and relatives and was not permitted to even use the phone he eventually managed to flee and report the incident to the passport immigration and citizenship office in may of 2019 imagine being unable to speak with your family while living in a foreign country and the wife breaking down in tears because her husband would not be able to return home to the children the slave he the husband brought from india was unable to return to his family to his father who was sick who might also had been sobbing for him when he could not hear from him when he could not contact contact his son so now the shoe is on the other foot and there she is crying and you tell me the judge sympathized with her that she didn't know what the husband was doing the victim received a contract stating that he would be given lodging insurance for medical expenses transportation and food and when he got to jamaica he realized that none of these things were going to materialize it was also agreed that he would get a monthly salary of 10,000 rupees, which is Indian money, or around 18,691 within a portion, with a portion going to support his family back in India. He was required by the agreement to be trained, and while in training, his salary would be 2,500 rupees. 5,000 in the first year and 7,500 in the second year, none of which the man saw a penny. The victim was shocked to learn that he would be living with the couple when he arrived because he was never told this and now he did not know anyone in Jamaica so he did not have a choice. And if this wasn't enough, the next day he was informed by the wife that he would be expected to do housework and the wife made a list of his responsibilities that include cooking cleaning and washing the wife did a good job of playing the role and she was eager to deliver the husband a list of all the things he would do in exchange for free labor he would wake up at 6 a.m make breakfast for the family mop the home leave at 7 for his job at the store and return at 8 p.m extra chores and meals preparation so you tell me that the wife should not have gotten jail time now the businessman he smacked the, 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 the victim in front of customers and the court also heard that he threw a fan at the victim's head inside the store. He was also beating the man on top of everything else. He should have gotten at least 10 years in prison, if not more. He will undoubtedly go through exactly what his slave that he brought to Jamaica went through while residing with him. Guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video. Kindly make sure you like, you subscribe, you share, and you hit that notification bell so you will be notified of all new videos.